Hello everyone, welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4, the Soviet struggle as we continue to just waltz into the British Raj. Soon we'll have troops to divert to the Eastern Front. Actually, I think we might go ahead and... Well, the tank army is so spread out, but it doesn't really matter that much, so I'm guess... I'll, I guess I'll just send these guys over to like form our front line here and just squish some pockets of British resistance. That seems like a good idea. And then we'll try and contain this flank before it gets too bad. We are trying to push back from uh, Istanbul because, well, Greece has somehow decided to remain neutral. Which basically means for us, and all, for all intents and purposes, that we have a free hand. Now we're also trying to crush like the remains of Switzerland, which we should be able to do this episode. We might be able to push out the... Uh, Italians, or what remains of Italy at this point. That'd be pretty swell. Yeah, we'll try and make this work. Now the, the annoying thing is we're running into the border fort, which again, should have historically been facing towards France, but still counts towards us despite attacking them from behind, which is annoying. I get that there's no like in-game extinct... Ex there's no like special thing that says like, hey, this wasn't supposed to be like, uh, this wasn't supposed to be attacked from this side. Oops. Nope, it's just, okay, you win now. Or hey, no, they get to defend with a bonus. Switzerland finally capitulated. Unfortunately, all their provinces except that one were occupied. So it didn't even matter. At the very least, we should be able to get some nice flanks in here now. Project 22, experimental rockets. We get ourselves a better light cruiser. We're going to switch our production of ships over now as well. We're trying to buff our navy up. Because navies are pretty useful. I'm not going to lie. And story 3, light cruiser 1. can go to light... Uh, yeah. So light cruiser 1. Heavy cruiser 3. Lose about a month of production. That's fine. 82 days of production, that's a bit sad, but oh well. No tears, Sovietski Soviet Soyuz. 21 days for a battleship. Alright. Better than getting another level 1 battleship, I suppose. Switzerland is crumbling, we are low on supplies again. Or resources, rather. We don't have to import aluminium anymore, which is nice. We're still lacking a ton of rubber. We're importing rubber from France, which is not quite an ally anymore. Like, they're supposed to be in the war, but they're not called in, and now they can't be called in anymore. Which is nice. It means we'll be able to walk over them quite easily. British Raj has lost a ton of troops, almost a quarter million now. Ooh, we can make some headway over here, which is nice. I get to push this front a lot. And again, they might have just pulled back for safety's sake, I don't know. Long story short, we are moving forwards. I'm gonna assign these guys an offensive order. Just basically walk over there and execute it. There we go! They'll now start pushing up autonomously so we don't have to keep bothering. They're probably going to try and pull the troops back to Britain or something, I'm not entirely sure. Like, there's a lot of troops caught in Italy right now. Which I don't mind, but it's a bit annoying. They're going to be constantly trying to free all this now. If you guys could push over there, that'd be grand. You could probably keep that ball rolling. That'd be great. And there's a little bit of resistance, which is very unfortunate. Like, we are very nice people. I'm not sure why you're resisting that hard. You know, it's not like we're going to occupy you or anything. Yeah, annoyingly enough, Allied troops are retreating into France, so we have to continue to keep troops on the border. Despite them not being in the war, they're so his... Uh, they're laughably anti-neutrality. Like, in real life, this wouldn't stand. 
This would be a diplomatic faux pas and we'd be at war. As it stands, Yugoslavia is having allied planes in it and everything and everyone and oh my god I want to make them not live anymore. You know, I don't like them for that. It's a jerk move. It's not nice to do, you know. It's not the rules of war. We follow the rules of war and we win traditionally. We haven't dropped any nukes yet, so be happy. And instead, they're being a jerk. Predictably. That's what happens when you trust the allies. This is why common turn is a better option. Too bad we're not taking any applications. Ever. Meh. Yeah, the real only strategy to taking out these forts is to literally surround them as, as from as many angles as you can. You just pray for the best. Or get air support, which also helps. But uh, yeah, we're not making the ball roll here all that well. Unfortunately, because, well... I would very much like to simply have this be over. You can stop trying to attack us now, Netherlands. There you go. We're gonna get those two involved on that flank, then we should be able to get people fighting these people. Actually, you might be able to support them as well. Might be a better option. We're not gonna throw lives away that needlessly quite yet. We should be able to make this one single front. And the AI is doing a nice job over here. It seems like they have pulled back, which means... Oh yeah, we're gonna run all the way over Denmark now. I think Norway is also part of the Allies. Yep. So we're gonna have to shut that down at some point. You guys can be given uh, an offensive line. Uh, we'll be brave, we'll say down here. You can try it. I don't think that's going to amount to anything, but I'd be annoyed if I didn't at least try. Or have the AI try. Yeah, we should be able to break these people quite soon. And take on Italy. Unfortunately, well, the border guard is doing its job well enough. Do we need you guys anywhere? We might have to start an, a front over here with those guys. You can attack over there. You you take that coastal province. It's not a port. She's a little bit annoying. Ooh, we get another ship to research. We can go for the Project 23 BIS. Now let's get advanced landing craft. We're going to have to do a naval invasion of Britain at some point. And there's just so many troops here in allied countries. That are just like, yeah, no, we're gonna sit this war out. Thank you. I totally don't blame them. The Soviets are superior in every single way possible. We're more handsome. It's everything. Edit mode. Sure, we'll lengthen that front. Okay, we're done editing. Good. Need to make these guys crumble quickly. Then we'll move on over here, then we'll have the entire Italian front just seized. You should still be trying to make your way to Palermo. We are currently losing. It would be it would probably be suicide to try and support that naval wise. Is it suicide air wise? Not really. There's a bunch of interwar fighters. We'll get some Ishix. We get any. Oh, well, we have some tactical bombers available. Yeah, that might help push the front there. If we could just take Sicily, we should be fine. Like, that's literally the last province they own. Thailand capitulated. British Raj capitulated. Excellent. You guys are going back to your original front. That's fine. Tank army. 
might want to roll up there quickly. Just make sure that they die. Now we can do an invasion of Ceylon. I'm actually going to assign these guys a front line over here. Because they are annoying, they are doing landings. We are fighting the British back over here, which is nice. Trying to contain their push here. While also trying to push back over here. To, with, like, not that great of an effect just yet. Ugh, I don't like them very much. Can we just bring these people to die yet? They're holding out very stubbornly. They can get reinforced through France as well, which is annoying. Yep, casualties are definitely in our favor. Just look at that. Beautiful. Got a nine stack over there. Yeah, there's no way we're not gonna take that any second. Yeah, no, there's no way you're not gonna die horribly. Nah. We'd like all that land back now. How about you just send one person to take it, the rest can take Copenhagen. They should surrender after that. We'll be able to kill more troops here, which is always nice. Advanced artillery upgrade, excellent. I don't think we've shifted production over yet. Let's go and do that right now. So that would be improved anti tank, that's fine. Want to get advanced artillery, there you go. And we'll switch these guys over to advanced artillery as well. Because we can, we have enough weapons now, I think. Pretty sure we do. We're about to take Copenhagen, which would sign the surrender of yet another country. Always nice. Now the fun part is, and argu arguably the best part, America hasn't evolved. South Africa, Ireland, New Zealand, etc. might be, but America isn't. And that's a one person I might actually fear in this fight. There goes Denmark. I'm baffled that we haven't taken this yet. They're down to leading 96. They have no organization, nothing. That's where most of our casualties are going. I hate mountains. We've got a hundred... 15 divisions assigned to that front, wow. Can I borrow like 30 troops, assign them over here? That'd be grand! I mean, of course I can, but... Oh well. Um, yeah, this is going well. Okay. Always nice. I'd like you to take that province, and we need to stop this. Like, this is getting bad at this point. I'm gonna have to sign you guys an offensive order. To there. Hopefully you take everything of that. I'm gonna give you more troops to do it with. Like, thankfully, the war over here is stagnant still. So we can assign some more garrison troops, etc. to make sure that there's not some weird invasion. Still haven't won that one battle for that one province. They're all bleeding organization and everything, but it's like, nope, still not dying. No kudos to them, I suppose. It's a bit annoying. Bloody Republican Italy. Are you guys about to leave yet? No. We do have air superiority, thankfully. But it just doesn't do jack for us. We are not in a good position over here. I sent the fleet over, but we don't have control of the sea lanes yet. I'd like to finally be able to take the Suez Canal and at least cut off part of their reinforcements. But you know, it's a dream. There we go, start some offenses here. I want you guys to be a bit more aggressive here. 
need to push them back if we are to win this war. Oh look, there's half of France's army moving across our land again. Because why the hell not, right? Hi, Britain. Oh, we can't enter the province because it belongs to France for no reason. French India. Oh, fair enough, mate. Let's tell you guys to do a naval landing of Ceylon. I mean, I can tell them. Getting there is going to be another thing. We'll have to get a bunch of fighters in here. We'll have some... 600? Nope, doesn't want to do that. So... We'll do that again. It's a bit fiddly, but it'll be okay. Then we need another airfield. Right over there. We are up to 4,100 fighters. Like, just sitting there. Which bids me... Good fortune and everything, and it looks good. If we can just get enough presence here to get a landing on Ceylon, we can take a lot of rubber out of the British hands, who don't really care too much about it. These guys are taking heavy attrition, we're not. Yay us. There's troops moving across the water, which I... regret heavily. Kind of wish you could tell your troops to not embark. Like, specifically, just don't go on the sea. They control the sea. Why would you go on the sea? You know, that sort of thing. That's just me... Well, I wouldn't call it nitpicking, because it's a legitimate issue. Because we just lost troops to something that I didn't want to happen. Meanwhile, we still haven't taken that one province. We're up to 97. Dear God. There's 300 support aircraft here. I want to send all the lag threes over here. I will have air superiority, thank you. In the Alpine region. That might have actually been a good thing to do a long time ago. Yeah, that probably would have helped. Making sure we had an easier time fighting all of this, etc. Oh well, you live and you learn. And sometimes you die. I'm trying to push us out. And just need to make sure that this province belongs to us now for a while. Up to 85. There's only two divisions defending. They should be easy to take out, hopefully. The People's Republic of China wants to join us. Ah, uh, no, China. We have plans for you. Excellent, we are taking out the British very slowly. Shukov, did you not assign those units? We have 45% naval superiority. We have nuclear reactor technology. Excellent. We can get the bomb. Now let's get radar stations. That's going to be helpful. Uh, we are full on army experience. So we're going to make a variant of our tank again. Which means we will have awesome tanks. They're not quite as awesome. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, T-44 Mark II. Good little tank. We need... Do we really need that many infantry equipment? I don't think so. It's nice to have. So can we get this up any further? I mean, yeah, sure, probably. We're gonna have to go over capacity here. Well, that's fine. It didn't hurt anyone, ever. Ooh, we have these British cut off. I like it. Excavation 3. More resources for the mighty Soviet army. But the question is, is it ever enough? It might... The answer might surprise you when it comes out negative. We don't. Still not in Palermo, which is very annoying.
But we can get more tactical bombers, I suppose. We will brute force it. The best way. The Soviet way. Just send more stuff at it. Yeah, they all have range. Excellent. That should help bomb the hell out of them. Yeah, air support 16%. Not bad. We will recoup some of our organization, then we'll try again. Get into Palermo, please. We have finally crushed this line. We just lost like 30 units to something. Holy crap, where did they go? They didn't embark over here to die, thankfully. But then where did they go? I swear, we lost a ton of units there. They used to be at 150. What's our casualties looking like? Eh. Acceptable, but still. Units disappeared. Don't... Don't bullshit me, game. What happened? It's a shame there's not a battle log you can check or anything. Or is there? Should we dismiss alerts? Nope, that's not any that's not what I'm looking for. This front didn't just disappear, no, the, the troops are still here. So are they? We might have had some people like Get torpedoed here? I don't know. We don't have Sand King in my faction. Ew. There is 16 divisions of Republican Spain here, which does help. And we are pushing them back over there. Pretty soon we'll also push them back from here. This province has effectively been taken. That's great. But we're going to lengthen this front up. And we'll assign more troops to it later. Actually... We're gonna assign all of them. And your order is to march into there first. Easy! We can invade Ceylon for rubber, which is nice. It'll give us some... stuff which we will deny the British. Again, a great reason to go to war. We're going to give you guys a front line in Singapore. We're going to take the rubber by force. Tell your front to push up, just in case. So you guys are quickly going to land. In 10 hours, which will be great. They should only have like one infantry unit here as a uh, quote-unquote garrison. We're gonna move over there. We're gonna move over there. Your job's to roll up the middle. That will be the conquest of Ceylon in about a minute. It's really not that difficult. And pretty soon we'll be poised for an invasion of the Middle East. Did you know make sure that they're actually attacking? This front's going well, we're squishing them. These guys will get run out of supplies at some point. It'll be wonderful! I don't think there's a whole lot left to crush, allies-wise. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. Still wondering where all those troops went, but... Mm, we can live without a couple, I'm sure. Oh no, wait, we assigned them to the... Ah, oh, yeah, of course! I assigned them to the finish one. I was like... Yeah, we didn't lose anyone. No, I forgot that I actually assigned them to a different order. I thought they were part of the same battle line. No, 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 no. I am smart. God. Congratulations to any comments that may or may not have been pointing me out at this. I'm looking at you, person who's retroactively commented like, Hey, there's things over there. I'm on to you. I know what you're trying to do. Who are you trying to fool? 
Hey, that's Ceylon. Excellent, we have rubber. Yay! Well, if you're not going to give us any rubber, we're not going to give you any factories either. We don't need you anymore, Franz! Ha! How do you feel now? We don't need any imports anymore except oil. America, can you give us some more oil? Please? Excellent, we're looking very good. We're pushing the British back over here now as well. We might be able to cut them off of supplies. This front's meeting with some mixed results. But I am definitely expecting a link up with our Republican Spain friendos over there soon. The whole bleeding Italian army is over there now. Well, one thing, we don't need these planes here anymore, so we can free them up, send them back to the, uh, to the base. Let's check up on our air war in the Alpine region. Shot a lot of them down, we didn't lose as many, that's good. We have complete control over Italy as well. Too bad this is going to be a pain to cross. Once we like secure the Mediterranean by taking the Suez and Gibraltar. Actually, I think Gibraltar is contested. No, 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 it's pretty much not because they are not in our faction, that's right. We're going to have to launch a naval invasion of Gibraltar. That's going to be rough. I don't think we can even get there. We can definitely get military access though, which would definitely be a first a good first step. Hey friends! I hope you don't I hope you don't mind all of this. Can we now assign an offensive order to that front? Right click, we have 99 troops selected. I mean, we have military access, right? No transport available. If this works, like, we should not be able to run out of supply inside France. Might be able to hurt them. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out how, how military access works in this game, because, well... We're fighting over here against the British. The Republic of Italy, Britain, Raj... Yep. Definitely fighting. Oh, okay, I just had to unpause, that's it. In other news, I'm still a dummy! Ooh, we actually have a nice chance of breaking through the Maginot Line there, because, well, it's the Maginot Line! And we're surrounding it from all the sides at once. So yeah, apparently the invasion of France is a thing. Insufficient resources. America is not giving us any oil anymore. It's for some reason decided to cancel the orders. Like, nope, we're done. Right, Venezuela, you like us. Give us oil. Wait, what are you doing over there? How? I mean, sure. I guess. It's greatly confusing. We're now fighting in France, but not for France. Or against France. Life is... pretty complicated at this point, I'm not gonna lie. I have little to no understanding of the ongoing affairs right now, but we can make the, the British bleed, which I think is nice. It's not working out as well as I'd like, but hey. Can confirm the British bleed. Well, I'd love to get to Gibraltar, you know. Make sure that we have it cut off. We're not going to make it into Liberia, for, uh, in, in Sicily. No, Liberia is going to be there at some point. 
At some point, Liberia, we will take you down! Improved anti-tank upgrade, excellent! Let's get advanced anti-tank, I mean, why not? Right, let's see if we can take that. And make sure to force through, that'd be great. Like, all I need is to get to Gibraltar and then be like, Hey, we have Gibraltar now, lol. You're not gonna get through here anymore, allies. That would be quite beneficial to the state in the, uh, in the war. Still pushing them back over here, which is just excellent. It's going beyond what I expected. A lot of British have pulled back here. Oh yeah, right, we can actually fight them now. Squish! Boom! Kill, maim, destroy. We've nearly taken Singapore with our T-44s. It's pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Can I assign you to a front line over here? No, I can't, but I can tell you to move there. Oh no, wait, we can't attack. Through Gibraltar? Uh, through neutral Spain, I think. Actually, we... No, we can't. Right, well, that's just a... Uh, a fun thing to do then. Bash on the British a bit. I'm sure they won't mind. So, uh, about this, eh? Yeah, let's get rid of that order. Turns out we don't really need it. This Britain bashing party has gone on long enough. We'll cancel any outstanding like attacks. Just because manpower is pretty nice. Even though the British have it have a bigger need than we do. Like we can bleed Britain dry, easy. It's Britain. You know, I just rather not waste the stuff. idea what's going on at this point. All I know is people are now trying to redeploy through France, which is a bit weird. I can cancel the military access, I suppose. So, when will we attack in France? Wow. Is that like a joke or I don't know I mean we do have troops on their land so I suppose that might be a way of declaring war a very sneaky way of way laying war or it's just flavor text like hey when are we gonna attack them huh 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 I have no idea we'll try it out in a bit sure but right now I'm just focusing on the other fronts make sure that, that still happens I mean by all accounts things are going extremely well here that said, we're gonna have to take this port of Kuwait City now. It's actually neutral to us, so I'm not sure why we didn't take it before. Hey, long story short, they are retreating, we are attacking and moving forward. Things are going extremely well. We'll have, yes, there we go. We have more supplies now in this place and they have less. And this is not a case of less can be more. Also, I like the fact that we have a bunch of troops behind enemy lines now. I'm gonna do a quick save. Because I don't wanna lose... I don't wanna... I don't want France to be in war with us. Can we have our troops back? I think they might be teleported back or they are moving through the lines. I have no idea. But yeah, we revoked access with France and vice versa, etc. I don't know, by all accounts, we shouldn't be able to move through them anymore? I don't know. Let's 
confusing. I swear. Still can't get into uh, Liberia. We can get some ships. We have exiled divisions, right? I'd like it for them to be returned, honestly. There you go, get back there. Can you not attack an exiled division, buddy? That's low, even for you. Get a bit of light cruiser. Switch production on satellite cruiser line. Oh, actually, that one's nearly done. We'll wait, and then we'll... we'll uh, Get started on a light cruiser too, which would be lovely. Fra France wants military access. I'm not going to give it to you. I want to fight you. Don't you get it, France? Damn it. I think we might be able to bleed the Italian divisions there dry. Which would lead to a better resolution in our favor. Sovietsky Soyuz. Just deploy it in the biggest, baddest fleet we can find here. The fourth Soviet fleet. Alright, that's the one. We'll deploy our heavy cruisers there as well, etc. And our light cruisers and our destroyers. We aren't picky. So this should be able to finish. On the 16th, so tomorrow, basically. Okay, that's nice. Then we'll be able to get started on Light Cruiser 2s. Which are actually good. And we didn't lose any production. Now, we're going to have to import steel again from Sweden. For some time. Venezuela! Hey, I'm going to get some more oil. Slurp, slurp. Thank you for fueling our war machine. There's a lot more troops here. Thankfully, the Nor uh, the Danish troops? No, those are Norwegian. No, Denmark. That's Norway. They're out of supplies. Oh, poor, poor guys. Looks like we have these guys surrounded. There's 11 divisions over there. That's a bit much. And we're also able to cut those guys off. Excellent. This whole war is going great. We're not going to be able to take that. Please stop trying. Why? Why are you trying? That is just not going to work. Can't you see? Well, I'd like that land liberated, buddy. We have wiped them out there, which is great. We're about to take Singapore. Because I say so. Bloody British. That's going to be more rubber out of their hands. Although they'll probably still have some stuff left over here somewhere. Either way, tasty, tasty resources. Everything is going our way. Like, we can take a look at trade. Rubber. The UK still holds a bit. But, uh, yeah, we should be able to take you out at some point. Britain. We will take what is rightfully ours and send a bunch of tanks your way and blow you up horribly. Ah, there's also troops over here. That's annoying. We'll just have to wait for the British to fall back at some point. And then we'll kill them all! Haha! <laughs> Evil plans are the best plans. Quick, counter offensive. It's not countering very well, but it's definitely an offensive. Ooh, there's a landing technology. Great. Get me the score E class destroyer. I like good destroyers. And I won't even lie. It is a fact. I'm not going to deny. There we go. It beat up some people. Now we have lost 670k people. The UK has lost nearly 400k. British Raj 520. Yep, casualties wise we're still definitely ahead. Quite comfortably as well. 
We're also marching into more British occupied territory here. It is all going extremely well. The Allies don't stand a chance because they're still divided for some inexplicable reason. I don't get it. But I don't mind. I don't have to get it. There we go. Attack that province. Make sure they die. That front's going nowhere. This is hard to contain as well. We should be able to manage it. There we go. We're wiping these guys up. They should be out of supplies. Yeah, nice try, pal. That's my port. I'm pretty firmly in control of that. High repair priority. Fire at will. Search and destroy! There we go. I would like you to repair, actually. Repairing is quite useful. Please do it. And just search and destroy. Try and take out their fleet if we can. There is a couple of destroyers here, a light cruiser, so it's nothing heavy. By the look of things. Yeah, they're trying to flee. We have 130 destroyers here for some reason. You will fear them, Britain! It's not a question of when, it's a, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. We just blew up one of their ships, by the look of things. It's a simple destroyer one, but we still blow it up, so I'm counting it as a victory. Whether you like it or not, Britain. I don't really care. We're about to take the remain uh, the last province of Singapore off of you. I love it. Being horribly evil. Well, it's not evil if we deserve it, I suppose. Japan has taken our territory here. Oh no, Japan. Unfortunately, we did lose an old destroyer there, which is unfortunate. AA is shooting down a single fighter, which was in that battle, of course. So, how many planes do you have there? Over... Quite a bit, actually. So, yeah, we're going over here. They have some fighters here. I mean, honestly, we should be wiping them out quite a bit. They lost 166 enemy fighters. We've lost over 200 planes total. 400 planes here. We'll add some more lags. We don't have any lags left. Oh, we do. Plenty. We're gonna get some more air spear already. You see, comrade. If you do not destroy Soviet, like, economy, Soviet economy will ruin you. We are very strategically building random nuclear factories. Because bombs are the bomb. They're pretty good. I'd like more. A ton more. I cannot hear you over the sound of communism, comrade. We have to drop bombs on all the people. That's actually going to take nearly five months to build, which is very annoying. But then again, the results are just amazing. We're slowly making progress over on uh, Sicily, actually, somehow. We did lose a heavy, car uh, heavy cruiser. A Mark III, no less. That air power is very destructive. I wonder if we can get some lags to fly in there. Actually, no, that would be suicide. Our air experience is capped. I think we should get better fighters at some point. Production. Yeah, we still have fighter twos, etc. I'm gonna add another production line. We never made a variant, oh dear. Well, here's the thing, I'm sort of tempted to not build a variant. Since we're like six days off of getting it researched. It's gonna take like a hundred days or something, or a couple of hundred, I'm not entirely sure which. 
But we should be able to do it in theory. Like how many sh how many planes were part of this battle? Ooh, nice, that destroyer just got sunk. That heavy cruiser is going to get away, unfortunately, but we are winning. They're bleeding ships. The attack over here is going well. See, just throw enough men at it and it'll work at some point. Warning, may not actually work. I was about to say, did those British just give up? No, just had to unpause. Genius me. Wipe out those Dutch. Mountaineers. All divisions assigned to that. Offensive line to mess stuff up. These guys should then go back to there. That's fine. We were at naval battle. Lost the destroyer. We'll get more air support of the Alpine region. Hopefully shoot down more planes if we can. They seem like given up over there as well. The Pax Americana! Intended to keep the peace at home. Any government on the American continent may appeal to the United States for military protection. We finally finished off that one boat. It's a ship, technically, because a, a ship can carry a boat, but a boat can carry a ship. So, ships are smaller than boats. There you go, some science for you. It is 44, so there's no research penalty. And the Yak-3! Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Next up, Illusion 10s, probably. Those are the stuff. Making progress over here, which is just great. Everything is coming up Soviet. Who do we have left to crush? Like, we are going 32% in our favor. Nearly a quarter of a million casualties, but then again, we have the manpower, comrade. We have to wipe out the state of Japan, apparently. They're fighting alone and will surrender as soon as they have capitulated. Oh, that's kind of you. We have to take out the UK for, like, the rest of the Allies. Which makes sense. We're not going to be able to win that at any point in the near future. We can get some lags in here, though. Like, just assign all the planes we have. We should be okay. Comrade, more I-16s to the front. That should be enough to win air superiority. At some point. The annoying part is, Flak is not doing anything against fighters. I know we don't have the best Flak because we didn't research anything. And I think researching Flak actually does help out with like provincial AA. I'm not actually sure about that one. Uh, it might just be complete bollocks. Which would definitely explain why researching AA still didn't do much in my Germany game, etc. Yeah, and AA is in a weird place where it's like, you can't make it too overpowered because AA wasn't all that good. But if it's underpowered, why would I ever use it, you know? It's a weird paradox. Ooh. I can name drop games and references and be funny. I think, I hope. I definitely hope so. Anyway, this front's stable. They lost a tactical bomber. Why are you deploying over there out of all places? Why? Are you just deploying randomly? You shouldn't be. You might have been moored there for a while, but you should... You're the seventh flot... Sylvetskaya Flotilla. But there's nothing telling you to deploy there. Ah, uh, well. We'll chalk it up to a mystery, then. How are you doing here? 900 fighters lost. We are not lo we are not winning this air war. I'll say that much. 
Oh, is it over here? They still didn't pull back. We are winning so far. They're actually reinforcing quite heavily. Then again, so are we. This is gonna be bloody. Very bloody. We have 6,000 Aoyusians standing by. I think now that we control like the majority of the rubber, etc. Everything but oil. Well, we should have enough oil, really. We're gonna make more planes. We'll prepare the production lines for the switch to the Yak-3s. At some point in the near future. Hey France, help us build killing machines against your friends. Venezuela, give me that oil, please. Yeah, oil over here is doing okay. We recently reconquered a lot of it. Unfortunately, we're so dependent on oil, we're not... We're still thirsty, even after owning nearly all the oil fields over here. It's, uh, it's a strange war. We're gulping up more oil than America ever did. Well, I've been going on for way too long. I'm gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed it, then please do leave a like down below. It really does help out the channel a lot. And if you have anything to say, do leave a comment down below. I read most, if not all of them. And if it's a fun comment, I'll definitely leave a response. And as always, have a good one, folks.